How's everyone doing? Today I'm going to show you how to tone cable. Whether you're trying to identify your cable in a crawl space like this, up in a roof like here, inside one of these, or something like this. Now today we're going to be looking into a crawl space. Now you can run your own cable through the floor into the crawl space or you can find a whole bunch of cable already in there and you need to find out which cable goes to which room. There are already many methods and a lot of tools that you can use to tone cable and not just coax, you can tone phone lines and even cat5 or ethernet cable. Everyone has their own way of toning cable. I'm going to show you what I've been doing, what's easy and what works for me. So this piece of hardware is pretty small. It fits in your pocket and in your tool pouch very easily. And it also has these four little color coded remotes. It has a red one, a blue one, a green one and a black one. What this does is it actually lets you tone or identify up to four different cables or locations at the same time while you're out there. You don't have to keep coming back and forth. Let me show you a little how that works. So this first one back here is right behind this couch, right there. Pretty sure you see that, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna get a wrench to unscrew that. I think that's currently for the internet right now. So I'm gonna get that out so I can identify it outside. So there you go, I have that barrel Exposed that F81 barrel connector. Okay, so I have the buttons here or the toning system, the cable identifying system. Okay, so I have four of these color coded buttons black, red, green, and blue. Okay, and this is what we're going to use on the inside or on the cable that we're trying to identify so for this one I'm, I'm just gonna use this red one okay and hook it up to this part now this is sending a, a small electrical charge or actually this part this part is sending a small electrical charge through that cable once it gets to here it'll bounce back and send it back to this with the specific ID that this has which will then translate to these different colors here red blue green and black if the cable is not shorted out or it's it's not open then one of these four colors should light up on the outside all four of these all four of these with that red one too and I can identify up to four cables I go outside once, of course I have to put fittings on the cables, but that's fine. And I hook this up to the other end of the cable, like this, push this test button and one of these buttons light up. Okay, so for example, I'm going to show you what it does exactly. Okay, I got this red one, okay, it's a little red button here. So I'm just going to hook this up to this end. Right there. Okay, so now you look at this test button, you press it. Now you see that number one lit up with the red. Okay. See, and that's that red button there. So I'm going to use a different one just so you can see. I'm going to use the blue one here. Hook it up to this part. All right. There you go. Number two lit up with the blue. So that's what this does. So you connect up to four cables, and you'll have red, blue, green, and black all going to the junction box or outside in the crawl space, wherever you have the cables. And you just take the splitter or a switch, whatever you're going to use, and as you identify the cable, just hook that up to your switch, and that's it. You're good to go. So for now, I'm going to hook this up to this 
barrel connector, this wall plate. Take this with me outside. Just one trip, in and out. Make your job easier. Work smarter, not harder. And in this room, the cable input or the cable outlet is right behind the bed. Right there. Right, we got the cable. I got a little short jump. I have a little short jumper here. And I got the fittings on already. So I'm going to pin to connect one of the cable identification or identifying tags. One of those color coded buttons that I showed you. It's gonna go in here. So okay, so for this one, I hope I hope you can see this. Okay, I'm going to use the blue one. Okay, we're using the red one for the living room. Now we're going to use this blue one here, and that goes screwed on to the fitting just like that. Okay, as simple as that. Now we have two rooms living room and this bedroom, a master bedroom that we have to identify. So let's go outside and find our cables. Okay, so I have all the cables pulled out already. These are all underneath the crawl space. There's three cables, there's two rooms. So you see why we need to ID the cables. Now, I'm going to screw these fittings onto this device. Now, all the cables have fittings already. Now that's I just need to find out where the cables go. That's the whole point of this. So as I test this one, push the button and you see the red one lights up and the red one we said went to the living room so this is going to be the main line now take it off now remember once you tone your cables set them aside you don't want to mix them up with the other ones that you haven't identified yet now I go to uh, the number two cable find out where this one goes as I go to test it push that test button and you see the blue one lights up there you go. So the blue one we said went to the master bedroom. So now we have both the living room and the one going to the bedroom. But just for good measure, I'll just test the third cable just to show you that there's nothing on there or there shouldn't be anything in it. Um, I'm going to show you this third one anyway just so you can see what this little receiver does. And as I go to press the button, See, none of the color buttons actually light up. The one that's lighting up is the LED light all the way at the bottom, which is the open cable LED. So there you go. Two cables. So we have living room and master bedroom. That's it. Two cables.